You know, I found myself during this film just having to keep remind myself that I was like, this is part of the MCU. The MCU has changed, guys. Werewolf by Night is the latest in the MCU, and this is a sort of Halloween special for them. It's based off of a comic of the same name. It stars Laura Donnelly, it's directed by Michael Giacchino. This film tells the story of a girl who's at a location during the old days when she discovers something mysterious is going. There's someone who turns into a werewolf. This ensues danger and a close-knit battle to the finish. I don't want to say much about this film. This film was the thing that I heard about. It was kind of like, well, that's weird. And then I said, okay, I'll watch it anyway, because it's part of the MCU. Kind of got to do that if you're on YouTube. <laughs> So, and plus I'm a big MCU fan, so anyway. But I went to, you know, go see it. It's streamed on Disney+. Plus, and I was surprised. It's actually a great callback to classic films. Or it's supposed to be. It's shot in black and white. And it's look, made to look old. And the special effects are deliberately not perfect. And it's a really brilliant way of telling this story. Like, the MCU's done a lot of unique things. This is one of the more unique things. This doesn't really feel necessarily like an MCU film. But I like it anyway, in a sense. I think there's just a genius here. Michael Giacchino is a film composer. He's composed for the MCU. Most recently, Thor Love and Thunder, then Spider-Man No Way Home. He's composed for the Batman, Star Trek, a lot of great films. But uh, he's directing this movie, and it's rare you have someone who's not necessarily trained in a professional director make a movie that's really good. This is the exception. He, he shot the hell out of this movie. This is a really good movie. Like... And it's deliberately, in some ways, I know I've seen some people, some people complain, it's cheesy, it's corny, but guys, in the way it's supposed to be, it's a callback to old films. So it's going to be kind of an odd watch, I think. If you're going to watch it, you have to watch it through the lens of which it was made. And if you're going to watch it through that, I think you can have a pretty fun time with it, because there's some really great stuff that goes in here, get really creepy. It's a fun little goosebumpy kind of Halloween thing we're getting, and I'm all in for it. It's just really genius, though, because it's a step in a direction where now... It's something that can probably become a cult classic. And I like that. And the fact they can do everything they did with a PG-13 rating is really impressive because the film's not perfect or anything like that. So I'm not saying it's like the best film ever made, but I enjoyed myself with it and I had a great time. My issues with the film, it's really short, almost too short. And I think that there's just some stuff in here where to a certain point it lost its atmosphere, but then it catches it back again. But... I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of like a little bit of a mixed bag, but a fun ride along the way, because like looking at it through the lens of a movie, it's great, but then when I look at it through the eyes of the MCU, I'm not crazy about it anymore. I'm like, that does not belong in the MCU. It doesn't make sense. This should have just been a independent Marvel project with nothing else attached to it. And that's why this film does have takeaways for me, is it doesn't fit with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think the MCU has been going in such a weird direction lately. This is again as an example of just that. So I don't know, it didn't quite live up everything I wanted it to be in a sense because of where it was. So it's gonna be a little bit of a toss up for me, but overall I did like it. I'm gonna give Werewolf by Night a seven out of 10. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see y'all next time.